all right guys i'm back at it with another video you know we're going daily thanks so much for watching thanks for tuning in to my video my channel if you like body game videos make sure you subscribe like comment all that because i will have more of these coming at you pretty much every day you know what i'm saying so today's video i really want to get into it we're gonna get right into it and basically uh this is a big thing that happens if when you practice body games is really something that's common happens to people who practice body game is that people assume you are a cheater or you cheat you know what i'm saying or you just you're pro more prone to cheating than to other people like i don't know i think it's more so like physique wise like people just assume that you just never satisfy you feel me you always looking for the next best you know what I'm saying you always looking for the highest and the best you know what i'm saying you're looking for that next fix you feel me and it's like when you practice body game when you are more masculine or you exude masculinity people just assume that they have to please you you know what i'm saying or they have to be a certain way or for you to like them and sometimes it's subconscious sometimes people really can't help it just because like they assume you may be mad or they assume that what they're doing is not up to par of what you are and that's basically when you are in a masculine aura I always bring up aura I always tell you like how you behave and that's a good position to be in because when somebody feels as though like they don't know where you stand is better that way. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have to yell, you don't have to argue, or you don't have to talk about a lot of subjects, they got to get more into you. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of find out through time. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody to feel like they can just say anything to you or they don't, they, they feel like they got you figured out. You know what I'm saying? Like you never want that because the more comfortable somebody is, the more disrespectful they get. You know what I'm saying? The more comfortable somebody feel like they have, the more comfortable they are with you it's like it almost breeds disrespect because it's just like it's just normal you know what i'm saying it's just like if you notice like if you ever had a friend or whatever like that it's like the people who are closest to you just kind of feel like they can take you for granted or they feel like they can just kind of compete with you or they feel like you know oh the, you know he may not be as special now that i know this about him i know this about him like he's he's more human than he was before and sometimes when it happens people assume that you know what I'm saying you cheat you know what I'm saying that you are looking for something different you know what I mean so it's just like when you aren't that way you people play with you you know what I'm saying that's the downsides of it but also too when you are like really really masculine or you are like physical you feel me like really just strong the downsides of that is yeah people respect you people talk to you but people are also intimidated by you or they just assume like if you're dating that you're cheating you know what I'm saying you just look for a next girl other girls you're just looking for like different types of bodies you're looking for different like girl cute girls everything like that but it's just like when you're on your grind or you're saying well you're focused you just get at because somebody just doesn't know what you're capable of you know what i'm saying they don't know what you can achieve they don't know what is in your future because when you're always evolving when you're always changing it causes your partner or it causes the person you're with to have to change with you or get left so sometimes like it's not a bad thing you know what i'm saying you may deal with arguments or you may deal with somebody like assuming they know they, they know how you are just based off how you look but you'll notice it's like it's not bad because it pushes the person to be better you know what i'm saying if you notice that your body is good you may get comments like okay who are you trying to look good for or you saying your body look good are you looking stronger it's just almost like okay like I feel like you might be able to pull this girl. You might be able to pull my friend now. My friend kind of looking at you a little bit longer than she was before. And it's just like, it's not saying that you are cheating, but it just says that you are capable of cheating or you're capable of attracting somebody different. And that's a good place to be in because you want somebody to be on your toes. You don't want somebody to be comfortable with you. But be respectful with it. You know what I'm saying? If somebody is like really, really unsettled or like really is like uncomfortable with it, of uh, you know, being insecure, like don't take that advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Just like talk to them, like, you know, reassure them. Like everybody likes reassurance. But also, you know, say stay masculine. Also still grind. Also, you know, achieve everything that you can because you can't help how great your body looks you know what I'm saying you can't help how healthy you are you can't help how strong you are you can't help how smart you are you just need to use your gifts wisely you know what I'm saying use it to your advantage but don't take advantage of other people you know what I'm saying people feelings and everything like that you don't want that but understand that like when you are working on yourself people assume that everything is perfect you know what I'm saying people assume that if you were able to be disciplined in this, you're disciplined in other areas. You're disciplined with other women. Like you just don't give your attention out. You're able to focus. You know what I'm saying? You're more masculine. You're more 
protective. You know what I'm saying? Like people, that's attractive. You know what I'm saying? If you have things that are attractive, people just assume that what they have may not be good enough. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things with body game. It's like, it's kind of like a love hate relationship, I think, for how I feel about it because on one hand, I like the respect and everything like that, but on the next, it's like, sometimes people can be intimidated by you and it can kind of almost breed jealousy or it can almost breed like competition, unnecessary competition or unnecessary um, comparison. You know what I'm saying? Somebody may feel like you may have something that they don't have, so they'll covet or they'll want what you have just based off of how you look or how fit you are. Like if you'll notice, like if you are really, really fit and you're around somebody who isn't as fit, it's almost like they're like, oh, I need to hit the gym or, oh, I need to diet. Or if you're eating around somebody, they may feel uncomfortable because they feel like you're just eating so healthy. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why are you eating so healthy? You're making me look more big than what I'm already am. Or, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I feel like I'm the fat friend or something like that. But it's true. Like people kind of do feel a way because you're doing something that's different, especially if you weren't that way before you changed. It's like you're evolving. So when you do evolve, like evolution, change is uncomfortable. But it's just, it's just what comes with it. When you're progressing, people are going to see your pro, um, progression and they're going to see your muscles and everything like that. They look at you differently now. It's just like they look at you like, okay, you're consistent, you're disciplined, you're masculine, you're um, dedicated. You know what I mean? Because it's not easy. People know working out is not easy. Losing weight is not easy at all. Like I know that from when I got like a little bit bigger, you know what I'm saying? Or not as muscle as I am now. But it's just like, it's not easy. It takes discipline. It's, it takes like hard work and it's just like people want what's not easily attainable you know what i'm saying when you have something that other people don't have it just becomes that much more attractive you know what i'm saying when you have either like a certain muscle insertion or you have a certain body part that's like rare or you know what I'm saying it's just as more defined people will literally want that because they don't have it they just compare themselves and um you know what i'm saying that's not your problem that's not your fault but at the same time it's a good feeling because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying you're one up a person or you feel better than a person, but you are proud of your progression. You're proud of your success because you put the work in. You know what I'm saying? You did what you had to do. You took the days and you sacrificed and now you're reaping the benefits of it. But you know what? You know what I'm saying? With great power comes great responsibility. You know what I'm saying? People will feel away. People will test you in the sense of like how masculine you are. Or people feel like, you know what I'm saying, your, your options have broadened. You know what I'm saying? Your your opportunities have increased just from you being more physical fit, like physically fit. Like people just will kind of respect you in a different way. Or mother, you may have other opportunities that the next person may not have. So I just want you guys to understand that. I want you guys to be mindful <clears throat> and just be aware that it is something that happens when you practice body game. But it's good, you know what I'm saying, because you're evolving, you're getting better, and you're working on yourself. And that's attractive. I want you guys to understand that, and I want you guys to stay up to date with it if you are working out. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, comment down below if you are working on your body, working on your body game. And uh, let me know how that's working out for you, because I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video. And thanks so much for watching my video. I'm out. <laughs>